I got to tell you, I mean, this man is new in my life. And in the short window of time that I have known him for a couple of months, he is transforming my life. I mean, he just inspired me. And his words and his voice on the phone, on my sessions with him was so soothing and so affirming for me that I just, I just realized how he was impacting my life. And so I just want you to have just a, I mean, literally a flavor of who this man is is and what he's about. I want to talk to you about accomplishing the impossible. Ken Cragen. Ken Cragen. Ken Cragen is the man behind the careers of Kenny Rogers, Lionel Richie, and many others. Ken has been my manager for over 26 years. He's helped make superstars out of many of the entertainment industry's top talents. It's easier to accomplish the impossible than the ordinary. He developed a project known as Hands Across America. He mobilized a megastar cast to create and perform We Are the World. Ken Cragen is the master here. The things I've done that have been successful Impossible as they may have seen, have had substance to them. Bottom line, you can't sell anybody anything unless you get their attention. This is Ken Cragen. Thank you. I can't thank you. You are out of this world for well, being here today. To be here. So let me get right to telling you the best of all the things I can possibly leave you with. It's a wonderful thing. And here's what we've got to do. We're going to talk first about getting attention. You cannot, you cannot sell anything. You can't sell anything, a product, an idea, a company, yourself, unless you get people's attention. You just can't do it. And in today's marketplace, with everything going on, it's very hard to get people's attention. So you've got to do three really important things. You've got to do something that's unique or special, okay? You've got to have it based on real substance. It's got to have substance to it. It's got to have something that people want to take action with. It's got to be something they care about. And, you know, next, right there, based on real substance. And it's got to be unexpected. <laughs> I got your attention. Do the unexpected. Remember, always think about having the marching band in everything you do. If not, if not the real band, figuratively, you know, think about it. Think about what is that thing that's going to be exciting, unique, special, unusual that you're going to do with whatever you're trying to sell that's going to get people's attention. Now we're going to talk about something called the magic of threes. Magic of threes is really the most important thing that I used in all these careers. I didn't discover it until I started teaching at UCLA, and I had to go back and look at what worked for me and what didn't, and why didn't, and why didn't it, and, and what was good. And I suddenly realized that it took three things to get anybody's attention in a concentrated period of time. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, there is a real magic to threes. There's the Holy Trinity, okay? There's three strikes and you're out. There's three beats to a joke. Here, if you don't believe me on that, watch this. Oh! He busted me right in my mouth, Marv! I had one. Don't worry, Harry! I'll get him! Ow! Right in the schnoz! It's two! Come on, let's get him! That's 
three. That's three. Three beats to a joke. There it is in perfect black and white and a great scene. Let's talk about this, how you use it in business. This particular piece, I usually talk, and I think I will here now, about how you use it when you're going out for a job. How can you use the magic of threes? The very first thing that you do is just exactly what Rick Paulson did. Get somebody to call before you get there. Somebody they know, somebody who knows you, an associate. Let's say you're going for a job, a former associate, a former employee. They call, they say, look at Mary Smith is, uh, is coming in to see you. I know you're seeing a lot of people for this account position. Listen, I just want to be sure that she gets the time and you really pay attention because this woman is special. And they tell her why. Tell the person why. And then you do your homework. When you go in there, you take something with you. Take something with you that relates to the person. And I'm also going to do my homework when I meet with them because I'm going to talk to them as much, I'm going to listen as much as I talk. I'm going to try and find out what they're looking for, whether it's in a job, if I'm going for a job, or it's in a product, if I'm trying to sell a product. I want to find out as much as possible in that meeting. So the third thing I do is as soon as I get home, I sit down and I write a note of thanks. Now, I happen to be a calligrapher. I studied with a scribe to Queen Elizabeth. So I often write a hand note because so often now everybody gets email and they don't even look at it. But whether it's an email or a hand note, written note or whatever, I send something back that not only thanks them for meeting with me, but something that addresses the things that they're looking for and why I fit that or my product fits that or my company fits that. Again, the magic of threes, before, when I was there, and after. The magic of threes, it really, really, really works. So I target that. But if, in fact, we're reaching out to all of you here, or we're reaching out to everybody in Dallas, or we're reaching out to everybody in the nation, or we have some large constituency we're going after, we have to put out a lot more than three things. Because the recipient, this is the key, the recipient has to receive three. Why does Disney, when they launch a movie, have it on billboards and in the, in the newspapers and on television and on radio and, and emails and Twitter and every way? Because they're trying to get multiple impressions out there so that the individual receives three. There's a lot more to the magic of threes, but at least you have the idea, I hope. Do you? Okay? Use it. Start using it right away. Use it on your spouse, your significant other, your friend. Your friends, use it on your boss, use it on your clients. Use it in everything you do. You are the best. You are absolutely the very best. You make me cry, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Was he everything that I told you? I mean... <laughs> Sit, I, literally, just like this, around, and I'm sitting next to him. And that's how this whole thing transpired. You never know what shows up when you show up.